Hey guys, so in this video we are going to talk a little bit about code reviews. And this is a, like, let's just define code reviews to start off with, so let's get into it. A code review is basically just you submitting a proposition to a project, either professionally, like, uh, you know, as at a company, or as part of a pull request to a open source project, where, you know, it's just, you know, you're doing it for fun or profit or whatever you're doing it. Anywho, so the idea is basically that you just have somebody walk through your code, like read what you made and say, give you feedback on that code review. Now, this is a, uh, this is, a, depending on how you feel about this, some people like it, some people don't. And it's a, it's a, it's a bit of a, in my opinion, gray zone on, you know, exactly, how do I put it? It's a bit of a gray zone in terms of value to the project. Like, I've found a lot of times that code reviews are, depending on who's making it, you know, if you have people who are very, very into details, and, you know, especially if you have, like, senior developers at your com company who know a lot about the system, it's very, very valuable, because they can tell you a lot about, like, if, you know, if I'm submitting something and my CTO looks at my code and they can tell me, like, you know, okay, you're doing these things here, do you, do you know that we actually have libraries and functions over there that are already doing the thing that you're doing? And, you know, that's, uh, that's, that's very healthy and very useful for me. And what's even better is if you're a junior developer or you're learning a language, like for me, it's Scala, for example. I'm not a ma master of Scala, but I'm, get, I'm getting to be, get better at it. And my CT, like I have colleagues who are really, really good at it, which is awesome because then I can submit an example, like some, a solution to the code, and then they will tell me, oh yeah, you're doing this and that, and you can do this in another way in Scala that is more effective. And so I learn things. And that's actually, to me, what the, ma the main strength behind the code review is actually these two things. It is a way for you to make something, I create a concrete example of a solution to a problem, and then have people with more experience give you suggestions on, you know, how you can solve it in a different way, or like, encourage you to do something a little bit differently. And the second thing is that it, it le lets you create a platform for discussion, uh, basically a discussion around, you know, around, around the system and how you, you know, you, you actually want to work. And if you do it that way, like if that's the way that you talk about these things, I think it's great. The th downside, in my opinion, which I find all the time with code reviewing, is that a lot of a lot of developers get into these. Like it's like they feel that they have to put something in the code review. It's like they can't just let it pass because they need to go into like tiny, tiny tiny details like I've been sent back a pull request and said you know fix these things and the issue has been things such as I, I shit you not which order my input parameters are coming into the function or how I formulated a comment or if I am you, like the the way that I have, I don't know which one was the, the latest one. Basically, I think that I used, well, in my unit test, I used it should, the word should, in the beginning of the text, and somebody didn't like that. Like, these tiny, tiny microscopical details are, in the end, like, it... Sorry. I, I, I am a little bit tired of this, and I, I, as I hope I'm relaying to you in this video. And the reason why I'm tired about this is because the way when I do a code review, what I try to do is to, I try to look out for things that are truly bad in the code or truly dangerous. And if I see something that is that could have been nicer, I actually just sit down with the person who did that, I give them the tip and say, you don't have to change it because the code is still good but this is something you can think about the next time, you know, because it's not, you know, it's, it's just about helping somebody get a little bit better at writing code. A great example was we were writing a React component the other day, or rather one of my colleagues pulled, had set up a pull request for a React component, and there was a, basically a, it was basically a container element 
that would have a body and instead of doing the children pattern that you know you wrap the you know your content in a uh, you know in the element that you that you're making he had actually put a property called body and put in this in the like the content that it was going to go into the component and i just told them you know you can do this in like the standard way instead of doing it that way and i didn't like force him to change it or anything like that because it doesn't really matter so much in the context of like what he's doing and that's kind of like, that's the, that's the approach at least I think you should have if you want to make a good code review. And that is that, you know, you're not there to be a goddamn linter. You should have linting tools that are already doing that for you. And if you don't, you should get them because it's such a waste of everybody's time to say, tell, to, tell somebody to, no, you need to go back because you used, I don't know, the wrong variable name in a single function or you did, you used a for loop instead of a, the for each function. Like all these tiny microscopical details that are just a taste in coding style. And I keep coming back to what I've said in a previous video where I basically, I, I argue that the way that I look at things is that I'm part of a software team. It's just like any other team. Everybody's a little bit different. Everybody's bringing something to the table. The idea is that we as a joint force are going to do something productive and make, us, make something great or you know, win the game or whatever you want to call it. And the goal is not for one person to be a code Nazi and get everybody else to write code exactly like they want to. That person, you know, I'm not going to name mention any, any names but you know who you are if you're watching this it's not the, i i argue that the goal is not to have a single person dictate exactly how everything should work at the microscopic level because then that person can just write the code themselves i argue that the goal is to write clear understandable maintainable code and if it it doesn't really matter if it's exactly the thing that you want or rather like the that the code Nazi wants. So that, that's my take on matters. Because a code review is a very useful way of sharing knowledge and you know making sure that everybody on the project knows what you're building. And it's also an awesome way to get feedback. Like I try to make my, my code review very quick. Like if some people want to wait with their code review until like the late stages of the project. I urge you don't do this. Try to submit your code review even at the planning stage, like really early, because it will help you to get it like a to get early feedback if your approach is the right one let's say that you're defining a new da data model even if the code isn't written just defining the model is very important is very great and submitting it as a code review because then your boss or whoever has more experience can tell you oh yeah this is a good model this is going to fit very well with our system or they're going to tell you oh this you have to tweak these things and then you can very early like get into you know avoid a lot of mistakes and issues down the road if you if you do it early and the second thing is that if you have if you sit and work for two weeks build this massive feature and then you put in a code review with like 90 or 100 changes in like 100 files the quality of your code review will go down because there's so much to go through that nobody's going to actually really go into the details and help you become a better programmer. So these are some general thoughts about code reviews. Hopefully you have a great day.